Sometimes there are small mistakes in recordings or images that I would love to cover up. Fortunately, a little Camtasia Studio grouping magic can make them disappear. The video project I'm working on here is a simple overview of the TechSmith blog navigation bar. If I preview the recording, you can see my cursor move from left to right over the blog section titles. As it gets to the last one, I found a small mistake in the hero image. Let's inspect this a little closer by zooming in on the canvas a bit. I prefer to use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in here. That'll zoom into the center of the canvas, so I'll next have to use pan mode to get over to the mistake. I'll click this button to toggle pan mode on. My cursor switches to a hand and I can drag the view over this way. The unfortunate error that we have here is that the small sticker on the Snagadon Mac box reads version 2.0. And that's actually not the current version of the product. It's only mildly embarrassing, I know. But if we can fix it for this video, then why not? So earlier I created a small patch image in Photoshop. Let me import that to the clip bin. Here it is with the current version number, 2.1. I'll insert that on the timeline, then extend it out so that it has the same duration as the recording. Let me drag these out here. Okay. Now it's still in the wrong spot. I have to toggle pan mode off. And then I can grab it on the canvas and line it up so that it covers the old sticker. I'll zoom out pan back over so I can see the whole recording again. Alright, at this point, if the video was going to be full screen the entire time, I would actually be done. But I like to zoom and animate as much as possible, and if I do that, the patch image is not going to move or scale with the recording. Control Z for undo, and here's where the grouping comes in. I'll select both the image and the video together on the timeline, then right click and choose group. Now that it's a group, I can apply animations to both at once. Maybe to zoom in and follow the cursor, something like that. And as long as I create the animations on the group, both the recording and the image will pan and scale together. So if I animate a zoom into the navigation bar, and then scrub over that animation a couple times, you can see in the preview that no one will ever know the difference. It's tricky stuff. Next I'll use a panning animation to follow the cursor to the right. And there again is the part that I just fixed. All thanks to grouping. It's truly one of my favorite features in Camtasia Studio 8. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. If you have any ideas for instruction you'd like to see or have any tips of your own, please share them in the comments below or on feedback.techsmith.com. Thanks for watching.